This would be the minister's first appearance before the committees on petroleum upstream and downstream in the 9th Assembly. Minister of State for Petroleum was glad to announce to the House that the federal government has discovered oil and gas deposits in large quantity in both states. The news was greeted with so much jubilation from the lawmakers who described the step as a welcome development. Bauchi will definitely become an oil producing state because what we have found there, the reserves are in commercial quantities. A minister noted that the federal government was making effort to revive all refineries before 2023, assuring that the Porter Court refinery would refine production in January 2020, while work is ongoing on Wari and Kaduna refineries, which are built to resume later in the same year. The consumption that is being posted on a daily basis, it doesn't represent the actual consumption of petroleum products in this country. We are not, we don't believe that Nigerians are consuming over 60 million liters a day. There's a lot of smuggling. On the issue of petroleum subsidy, the minister said it was not on the card, as the removal of fuel subsidy will bring untold hardship on Nigerians. That our people are already going through a lot of suffering. Last year, we requested 709 for the salary, personal Okay. 2019. 2019. Okay. 7.9. Yes, sir. And now you are requesting for 6.9. Okay. Are you telling us no promotion and the doctor of the hospital is going to retire them? What are you telling us? That is what Use the occasion to explain reasons why the federal government chose to shut down borders, which is already yielding dividends as daily fuel consumption has reduced from over 60 million liters to about 52 million liters per day. Committee has adjourned to fix another date for subsidiaries to appear before them. From the National Assembly, Grace Ike, STV News.